welcome back to another episode with Volaire Media. Today we got something really exciting. If you want to go check out the unboxing video of the Alien Car Mount by Tilta, I've got an unboxing video. I went over everything that comes in the box. But today we got something really exciting. If you can hear that, we're going to test out the mount. I put some custom mounts on this car. We'll go over those. I actually drilled right into the car with a couple of these mounts so I'm not relying on the suction cups. So I can go on the highway and I can just really feel safe about it. So we picked a really cool car to test all this stuff out. So let's go check that out right now. So I'm gonna go, but I do like the fact that it's nice and sturdy. Obviously I can come up even higher and I do have the extra suction cup so I can do this the normal way once I get the car wrapped. Yeah. I'm going to get the whole car wrapped because if I want to get up really high, I can actually just use the suction cups and it can mount up here. Like you can go one, two, three and then the whole contraption and you can mount this way up here if I wanted to get a really high shot of a car or whatever I want. So for now I can go all the way to here to be honest for cars. 90% of the time you want a nice low shot, right? You always want the speed of the road. If you're up too high, it doesn't look like you're going as fast. Whereas if you're nice and low, you're gonna get the road going by really fast and you're gonna get that, that really good feeling of speed, as I've said now. Okay, so we got everything set up. We got the gimbal on here. Now I'm gonna do some balance tests. I'm going to get this all balanced on here and then we're going to do some calibrations to make sure it's all good to go and we're going to head out and test this out on the road for the first time ever and hopefully this rain holds up because it's not too fun. I'm going to tape on that thing because I don't want to lose my Raven Eye. Second camera here boys. With this, I like to use the Force Mobile it's called instead of uh, I mean, you can use the joystick on here. Um, I'm using the Raven Eye, so I bought this handy little thing. It's kind of nice. So it just makes things a little bit easier. One less thing to think about. And you can use the target and just follow what you want. The biggest reason I would say that I like Force Mobile, when you're driving and you're going around corners and things like that a lot, you're constantly correcting this. This is a really good way to correct that away. tilt, you're right? Or the roll, yeah. So you're constantly, you go around a corner and it's constantly doing this and it's it's changing so then you can at least correct it back to level again right that's the reason i like the force mobile when i'm doing this um, some people like the joystick or if you want to use a monitor that you directly connect then you can use a playstation controller and do it that way so that'll be my next thing where i try it with monitors inside the car opposed to using the raven eye let's get out there and let's get filming and see what we can get super smooth like there was a lot of complaints with this about how like rough it was when you're driving with not enough weight or a red camera like man that was smooth was it? i don't even think the gimbal is on super smooth mode either I'm, i re i love this thing i'm actually really impressed i actually <laughs> was i was thinking the footage was gonna be all crappy and shaky so uh yeah i'm really impressed i'm really happy all over again right <laughs> so the same with the shadows and stuff yeah but actually we do like how great it is going to be good awesome. yeah. this out on the rear now so we got all our front shots we tried everything it actually worked really well I was really impressed and now we're gonna try it on the back so on the front because I mount one of them is mounted and bolted to my hood I'm not as worried about it falling off so I didn't use the strap 
but this kit does actually come with a strap so you can put it around your hood around a door or whatever it is just for that added little protection if one of these starts to come loose at all so yeah in this case we're going to put the strap on there to make sure all our expensive camera gear doesn't roll over the ground Basically, the way that I've set this up here is not one of the ways that uh, Tilta has designed or in the manual. This is not in the manual the way that I've set it up here, but I did get it to work and I like the fact that I can uh, have this extended. I can actually pull this back up and then I can have it up higher or lower and I can move this around so that it's up and down. So, ready to go, Jimmy? Let's do this. White picket fence is so sexy. Yeah. Okay guys, I really hope you enjoyed this episode. We really had a lot of fun with this and I think I'm really happy. In conclusion, I'm happy with this setup and I've already worked to advance it with some monitors and some other things. So all that and more coming up on another episode. Thanks so much. Please hit subscribe, follow along, leave any comments below if you have any questions. See you in the next one.